No let him go, no hold him back. My two cents for class with two locks, the 876 rebel. Make it fly now. Sing again, sing again. I want him again. So didn't I tell you that the beast is roaming? Yeah. Protect your children. Call like a raging storm is coming. Lion queen, yo, we want them again. So didn't we tell you that the beast is roaming? Yeah. Protect your children. Call like a raging storm is. Yo, 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 yo. Listen up. Blessed, welcome to another episode of the My Two Cents Pod Class. I'm your host, Tulax876. Rebel, and as usual, today's episode will be brought to you by Rebel 13 Collections, where creativity lives. We also do everything printing except fingerprinting. We also offer the finest and best in embroidery services in the island. Check us out at 876 898 nine triple eight and also to get access to the updated merchandise you can just simply follow us at rebel 13 collections on instagram also brought to you by kaizen oils some of their oils include meadowgrass for itch rosy for beard and scalp hair growth and wildfire for natural lubrication each part of making kaizen oil products are done by hand from planting to bottling kaizen underscore oils check them out on instagram still a remind item check out curly locks book available on all digital platforms Available in Jamaica at jamaicadeals.com Now, I'm going to the real meat of the matter today. See what I'm really comfortable about. And I've spoken on this very same issue long before that issue happened. Now, today we're going to talk about the facts that Wayne Marshall, Marty Griffiths and Taros Riley received the order of distinction, one of the highest honor you can receive as a Jamaican in a Jamaica. And when we look, everybody up in them feelings, but two people, but one more than the other, receiving this award. Now, a lot of people don't seem to see what the fuss is for. Now, if it was a case where Wayne Marshall just get honored and the people them just start cuss based on nothing at all, it would make sense. But a lot of people where in them feelings, it's understandable. Because, as I say already, a lot of people argue what they don't know. So yes, if there was no field by which Wayne Marshall received the OD, I totally understand it. But check this, Prime Minister, the most honorable Andrew Holness, congratulates entertainer Wayne Marshall Mitchell left who was conferred with the order of distinction in the rank of officer for contribution to the field of entertainment, in particular, reggae music. So I understand the fuss now. The fuss never come out because somebody is saying Wayne Marshall overall just not deserve an OD. If I did just what OD him get for outstanding community service away from music, and people mix it with music. I totally understand it. I totally understand. But it is actually music. Reggae in particular. I mean, you know, they're not separate, not, they're not separate dance all from reggae. You know what I mean? These, these uptown people don't have time for that. Because they're a foreigner. It's the same with the foreigner. They mix up everything and just put it in a one and call it reggae. That's exactly what they do in uptown Jamaica. They don't know dance all from reggae. It's just reggae but that's not the problem here today right Wayne Marshall received him OD for reggae music in particular so the first come based on that because guess what obviously you have a whole lot more entertainer that has done way more than Wayne Marshall as it relates to spreading reggae music on the international level and yes a couple of people get they are of distinction way. Makes sense. In the field where them get it. 
Shamaranx, Sean Paul, you name them. Yellow man received the same award, but when you check them on the track record as it relates to the levels where them reach in terms of sharing reggae music with the world, it more understandable. And I don't think people just make up their mind. So they want to bash Wayne Marshall in terms of him levels and the facts that him not really depend on that tip tap 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 level there yet. He has never been that far in a dance hall or reggae music. They come, everybody know that. You have levels to this. I would have never compare on TJ to a Sean Paul. But TJ is still a very big artist. So Wayne Marshall doing thing and he make a name for himself. But he not reach the level in a most people's opinion. If you say well then, OD. And this is the problem there right now. A level to this. See? Some of the things people want to tear down Wayne Marshall, but here what happened right here, so. You don't have to understand how corporate Jamaica think. The government and otherwise. See? Because they come from the same class of people. So they all speak the same language. Now, Wayne Marshall, we care and take that from him. The direction we go by promoting family values in a today day when no man not think you have no one woman and this and that and the man just go against no dancehall artist in the history of Jamaica I can't remember that has ever promoted well assassin and couple more the youth them but check it now the uptown circle of the mentality there the married and settled down and the wife and the children and the you know all of that see so guess what now when me think should happen is this if it's a case, can me personally respect the move that Wayne Marshall make? Everybody do some different thing and I try to appeal to people. Wayne Marshall be himself. He love him family and that him show the world. And it became very successful. Now, if the people will hand out the award them, because we don't know so them award them hand out by now, or voting and a committee and none of that don't look clad. We don't hand pick who no one get all and all the and award them. Come make we stop the foolishness. No, no voting no go on. Matter of fact, how we the common people know when this are going and when to vote. Nobody no hear about all we just see when it happened. I don't know say so that works. So I can always pick who no one pick. And I'm not saying when Marshall should not have been chosen. But guess what? We should have set up a criteria different from reggae music. When you give him the award based on outstanding community service. Because if you ask me where Wayne Marshall I do it film channel, trust me, outstanding community service. In a time when men are demonized for just breed girl and walk away, Wayne Marshall do the right thing. And guess what? If that's why he had received the award, everybody would have more feel like him deserve it. But when you now give him for reggae music, I show no mind small and I tell you, you know, none of them educated don't say care and the domino effect. What they did to Wayne Marshall was terrible. And Wayne Marshall himself should have did spot the rake a long time. Found them right in the letter that the email or whatever way them inform me them all gear. And you say say reggae music. You should have tell them say yo. Them all kill me you now. But you run go pick it up because you know really a focus. And the after effect, brother. You're big in a dance hall and you're dating. Everybody contribute to dance hall in their own way. But the man them will carry the music out of Jamaica the right way. Moody's Away and Marshall's name is among that. A couple of hit songs does not make you an international ambassador. It doesn't. Me and our international ambassador. I may accept that. I don't have that song like what Sean Paul have, Shama them have, Yellow Man them have, Beanie Man them have, and Beanie not get none, Killer not get none. So from the minute they send you that email notification if you come for your award, brother, take up your phone and make a call and say, Watch ya. That's something you know work out, you know. Why you think say, nobody know 100% of kill Taros? Because nobody know which part Taros depends on the scale, you know? Because Taros actually in reggae music. So when reggae music is written beside Taurus Riley, it looks befitting. But when reggae music writes that Wayne Marshall, now everybody got us going to them head and say, but wait, Wayne Marshall, may I try to find a hit song, the international or otherwise. Because if, if Wayne Marshall had one international tune, like 
Like we are Wayne Wonder would have get. Wayne Wonder no, no, no. Everybody would have understand. But I guess the whole of the confusion come in. Not that he doesn't deserve an award, but to you not know, give him an award for the wrong thing. He should have been in another category. That's it, you know. And that caused the whole of this. Now, to the show, base fan couple thing, I got to tell you now. Why me think them give Wayne Marshall? Me got to tell you now. All type of things. Some things you know, might not want here. But the problem is, Uno, yes. We love stay a back bench. Because in all this day a back bench, when the teacher up your side talk, you know, hardly can hear. And guess what? We in a time and nobody not put on them phone. And we in a time also when the phone gives you every information you could have ever possibly need. But we now use the phone them for the right thing. Now, now here is where the committee go around. Yes, Mr. Committee. I think there needs to be transparency and a lot of things like these as to alleviate misunderstandings to them level here. Misunderstanding to a level where Wayne Marshall can so embarrassed, believe it or not. Feel some type of way because everybody, can you imagine you're looking at every comment section and everybody has said, you know, deserve something. Hmm? No. I'm going to show you now how these people yeah, the politician then. Because yes, the government give out these types of awards. So basically what I try to say to me is we cannot blame Wayne Marshall for the circle where I'm in. He can't do nothing about that. Yes, circle thing. Yeah, may I get to it. What may I get to is called classism. Yes, it is. Now, Wayne Marshall and a couple of the people them, who have received these awards. If you check it, just check it, you know. You see, corporate people, yes, corporate and government as well. Matter of fact, in some cases, corporate is the government. So, what is the criteria by which you really get it? Hmm? Better yet, who selects the nominees? So, anything we are going in secret, can we truly say? These people that get the award deserve or don't deserve when the whole voting process depends solely on specific individuals and not necessarily the opinion of the voting public. Tell me if that makes sense. Hmm? So anybody from uptown, from the elite, can just decide for their mind who them like, who them don't like, who gets this, who gets that. Same way over there. Marshall Montana. Come on, Jamaica. I receive key to the city. And don't get me wrong. Marshall Montana work hard. He deserve whatever he get from any country in the world. But I see him so. Everybody did in on him feelings. You know why me telling again? We don't know the things we protest. We just protest. Because we always look at the top. We don't go deep. And see why these people receive these things. Now, remember today me attack well balanced. If you don't understand balance, get a scale. See? Now everybody in them feelings when Marshall Montano get him a word. Here's why. At the same reason why Wayne Marshall get him a word. Because the award no have nothing to do with the general public. It has to do with where specific individual or individuals decide who them like, who them don't like. Because if you check the Marshall Montano situation, it's very Similar, not no different about it. That award of them game key to the city was just simply decided by somebody we like him. It never have nothing to do with voting. So while they would have like if I believe, say it's transparent and this have something to do with the people in general, Uno could have never be more wrong. They select who they like. Now, Wayne Marshall couldn't help it if them like him. All of the people that receive it, not based upon merit and no real work or them put in or no charity or no, none of that. You can't blame them enough. Them just have some people in them corner. And you can't kill a man for out there. We have the link of people who like them that are in high places in society that awards them. But guess what? The problem here is knowledge. 
Most people talk with them don't know. So if them are tell us there's a voting process, the people need to demand transparency. Because it's no voting process. Me, I want to know that. I'm wanting it for all, so. Fact check. I know Wayne Marshall alone received these awards and never necessarily do not work where the public can actually say bombard. The man they do it you now. I know Wayne Marshall alone. These people have been doing what they want to do for years. You check it. Check all of the artists, them. Well, get all of the corporate events and see if they don't recycle, 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 recycle. If corporate like you, you book for every corporate event. You not even need a hit song. Your last hit song can be 10 years ago. And corporate, if they like and accept you, will only use a specific set of artists. If you don't think I like me, I tell. No joke. And when they sponsor these major shows, they suggest Feed them set of artists when they are working with them. So for example, you have a flow, you have this, you have that, you have Ray, you have all type of sponsor, all type of corporate companies. Whenever they are sponsor event, all artists, them put on your show. The artists, they not team up, you have. Only never see a show yet. And I say, but, no lie. This man, not so at right now, so how come he book for every show? No, you didn't. Most people don't ask themselves nothing. They just see you and assume say, because you're up on the show. Well, he must have gone with something. When really and truly, a long years ago, we are telling them. These things that we're telling us a corporate, they're going to ruin with music. Water it down. Put who they want put up front. Put who they want put up back. We told you these things. But now when it happen, everybody up in them feelings. When you can't make me try all the standard. Eh? I know standard now keep man I give them friend OD, man I give them friend Grammy. Man I give them friend over this or this. Man I give them friend over this or that and no vex. Where no vex for? Where? Who no vex for? When really and truly are our fault. People stop defending the right things. No standards. And we still are judge it for standards. That's why we feel some type of way. And I say, we in Marshall shouldn't get it because uh, uh, Bunty work hard. Hmm? Bunty work hard. You mean the most bad mind DJ ever boss? How all of a sudden going to kill on a bad, bad mind? Him deserve all the, you know, say no mad no bum buck lad. Hmm? No, no cause killer like that. I say I'm the worst artist in bad mind everybody when boss. Hmm? No, no cause he making tap tap. No, him deserve all the, make up on the mind. Killer know him deserve, but people like killer now get nothing. Once you still stand up for you believe in you, you know, get your shit. Which are you know, you know, things get boy? Hmm? Why we not get it? Can we not good? Hmm? One of the best comedians in the history of Jamaica, you know, Twins. You hear that? Our past works, if you don't check TikTok, one of them. And see who are one of the most important cultural icons in Jamaica history. But guess what? You ever see them award with you nothing? Know? Award them in shit. That more than I understand. Because the real people them have to get awarded. Now nah, get it. And we don't come to terms with that already. Because guess why? Once you stand up for something, I eat that for you. Know? If we put out something tomorrow morning, straight to number one, and we have been doing that for decades. Decades. We prove ourselves around this. As to what the baddest thing ever walked through dance hall gate, ever walked through comedy gate. You give it the gate. And we can tell us that we master that. We never see we get now what boy. Stop surprised when them civil classes people yeah, give them friend things. If you are somebody of friend, them have a right to support you if they want. Stop push up on yourself in a them award and every reward and whatever the case may be. Stop enough up on a class self. So I'm not enough. Stay where you're wanted. I don't know how much years bounty and being put in. And if it boils down to community service and being upstanding citizens in your country and your neighborhood, eh? nobody can outdo Bounty Killer. Hmm? You know how much people Bounty Killer employ, and by extension, everybody who embossed, how much people them employ. 
You check the chain reaction, for example, coming down from a bounty killer. And see if them money not help them country, them community immensely. Hmm? But you can't give it to a bounty killer. Too rough for corporate. Too rough for political respect. Income from the wrong class. Without a bounty killer, there would be no win. Marshall, can you believe it? Outstanding community service. Where was Auntie Dana? Where they are OD? If you are OM, all these accolades, where are they? Majority of the accolades given out, you know, check them. And some jacket and type people know the shit for Jamaica. Receive them majority of the time. And guess what? They may give a flying fuck when they buy a Seneca. Guess why? Jamaicans are not known to protest. No, we don't protest, especially for the right things. Alright, check the Grammy. But the white youth, they midwin. Hmm? Everybody up in them feelings. It just simply boiled them again for sure. Yeah. We always protest things we don't know the root. And when you protest about things where you don't know, you only end up look illiterate. Because of the same thing they tell you in the Grammy Awards. A committee who nominates these people that are selected for these awards. Because nobody never put out a list and say, yo, it's 100 people here. Yeah. Who do you? The listening public think should I get Grammy? I'm mean, sure it's a foolishness. The voting thing for Grammy, a total fraud. So are you telling me so there's no longer a system that records your sales? Hmm? There's no system in place that solidifies your popularity. But could I actually tell them without a vote? Say are you deserve the Grammy. Tell me, why would you require people to vote on a committee over who get the Grammy? When you can simply go check the streaming, check the record sales, check all these things. Like what used to happen back in the day. And make sure you receive a Grammy based on your own merit. Hmm? Why would you need a voting system when you can simply check the records? Pun intended. Why is this Grammy process and this OD process so secretive? Since it's transparent. And people supposed to just automatically know by themselves telepathically so them to vote for OD, vote for a Grammy Award. Hmm? Even me grew up thinking say, the reason why you get a Grammy is because of how good your album actually I go on. Even me grew up thinking say, the reason why you get OD is because your works actually give you that OD. But this thing turned free for all, long time. People put themselves in influential places of power and dispense them authority based upon the power. There. What do you think happened for years with the Grammy Awards, for example, the Malis? I say the Malis are not talented enough because, trust me, especially Junior Gang. Bob Marley picked me them not normal, them talented. But once you near Mali, automatically, it's like a Grammy just belong to you. All about Marley's on them talented. Yeah. But enough time them nominated with people where actually beat them. If, if Bob Marley picked me them up a dog at them gate named Dog Marley, that dog they are going Grammy. Once them selected and nominated, them all get Grammy automatically because guess why? That's the opinion of the board. All these white people just like the word Marley and in the checkout. Whether the album you beat the Anthony B there, the one that beat the Barrington Levy there, or the one that, matter of fact, it happened because it depends upon a board to nominate you for this Grammy Award. Does that make any fucking sense? I thought you're nominated because of your works. Now, don't get me wrong because I use the Marleys as an example. Holy Papa Marley picking them, very talented. I nah not take that from them. But a lot of time when them walk away with the Grammy, them walk away with the Grammy because of a very powerful last name. And we can't bash them for have them last name because a lot of we would have liked to be in a position where we last name so powerful it just open doors. But fear is fear. When them deserve it, them deserve it. But when they don't, they just don't. There's no way for people vote 
for your artists with them that know nothing about when I do no works really. Not even a sensible tour. And them get Grammy. Over people where I work, where everybody are root for. But guess what? Them set up them thing in a secrecy. What the common man don't know. And the common man can't get themselves involved. So the right set of people can win. And at the same thing them do with the OD.